All right, once you've reached the end, you've got your bobble. You're going to, we're gonna do the last one. Your yarn's a little dry, so it's squeaky. And then single crochet into the last spot. Then you're gonna connect them. So you wanna make sure that this is all even. And you're just gonna go into the top stitch right here. And we're gonna slip stitch from the back. And the reason I go from the back is so you get a seamless connect. See? And we're going to chain one and single crochet across. Single crochet right across. We're not going to connect the bottom to the very end. This string will be connected here at the very end and woven in. Let me pause for a minute and I'll show you what we do next. So I'm gonna keep recording in between because my camera keeps shutting off and I have to start all over. Once you get past this row, it, it's smooth sailing. Oops, I hate when I do that. Make sure you're turning your hook as you go, so that way it doesn't snag, like I just did. Alright, we're just about a halfway, I'm going to pause it again. Alright, we're just about at the end. Alright, the last one. And then make sure that it's completely round. Oop, drop the camera. And then you're just gonna slip stitch into the starter stitch. Always slip stitch from the back when you're connecting to give it a seamless look. That's it. Now we're gonna chain three. And we're gonna do two front posts. One. Two, and then two back posts. Once you get past this single crochet row, it will glide a lot easier. Two front posts, and just repeat all the way across. I'm gonna pause it for a sec. All right, just showing your progress. I don't want my camera to stop recording. for one more minute. All right, sorry. First row, like I said, is a little tedious. A lot of you ask me to slow down so you can see, but I honestly have been doing it so long, it's hard to slow down. I get impatient with myself. So it's weird, I'm a left-handed person, but I crochet right-handed, because there was no left-handed tutorials back when I learned at age six. So pretty much taught myself As 
the yarn is so dry, it just squeaks. Okay, almost there. So let's see if my stitch count came out right. Yes, it did. Whoops. And then the last stitch goes right here. And then we connect it by slip stitching front post. Go from the back and pull up the and then pull tight. That's it. And you're going to chain three to start your next row. And you're going to pick up that stitch you just made. Just like that. This is where it, it tends to go faster. I think it's just this yarn. It's just hard to work with. And there you are. That's the basic start of a hat. It's got the nice ribbed effect. Let me pause it, and I'll show you the at the end of this row. All right, I'm not at the end, but I'm almost there. And I don't want my camera to stop recording. <laughs> New phone, still trying to figure it out. As you can see, they work up really fast. Now you can switch colors whenever you want. I think it's easier to teach in one color. Then go from there. Alright, last stitch. We're going to go in through and pick up both. So that way it has a seamless edge. Remember, you're going to connect going front post and then pull from the back. Slip stitch just like that. Now chain three to start your next row and go right into that stitch we just made. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And that's it. And you're going to do this all the way to row. Depends. Child hats, I would probably go to row 13 and start reducing. On an adult hat, it would be between 13 and 16, depending on how beanie-like you want it. Do you want it to go lower over the ears? I prefer the half-ear coverage. Oops. And there we have it. The start of your hat. I hope you guys like and learn something today. I will try and do more videos as you guys request them. Thank you.